Hello, the unknown one here, and after two weeks of procrastinating, I'll be explaining how to get the three secret endings to RPG.exe. This is the last Sackboy.exe level I have published on LBP2, and I'm not going to do anything on LBP3. With that said, let's start off with a good ending. This is probably the longest to get. It's not hard at all. I just need to explain it, because if I didn't, you would never know how to do it. The first thing you need to do is open the gate by pressing this button. I'm pretty sure everyone has figured this out by now. After that, you need the Eye of Possession, which is sitting on these drawers in the bedroom of the house before you step out of it. Now you exit the house and come all the way out here to a metal structure, which is actually grabbable. You want to get underneath this and swing yourself to a small cardboard area where Possession appears, but he is missing his third eye. He takes his eye from you and the red cardboard here is vaporized, letting you do a few wall jumps in order to get yourself up and pull this switch. The switch will open a tunnel all the way on the other side of the level. Now before you go in there, you're actually still going to need a few things to get to the good ending. First off, you want to hide behind this tree for 5 seconds until a sack boy peeks out from behind. This is the first time you see him, he needs to appear 2 more times to get the good ending. Now you need to go to the roof of the house by entering the doors in the bedroom. Up here there is a copy of you, which you need to crush and burn by pressing the L2 and R2 buttons while seated in the controlinator. Every time you do this, you score some points. You're going to need to score 6,660 points, so it may take a bit if you can't press the buttons rhythmically to score a multiplier. Once you score the points, you go back into the house but encounter Sackboy for the second time, who appears to have been watching you kill your copy. You'll see him again one last time, but now you need to go into the secret basement of the house by grabbing a hidden trap door over here. Down here you'll see a dirty spongy room with these weird cocoon-like thingies. You grab a certain one and collect a body which you are going to need to feed to a certain little pet of Sackboy.exe. So now you can go through the tunnel which will take you to the dark world of sackboy.exe. You'll see a fortress here which has a huge lock on it so obviously you're going to need a key. Keep walking down to where you reach a huge iron cage with another huge lock. When you approach the lock, the points you need to open it will appear. Grab the lock so that the points are more and it will melt. If you go inside with the body from the basement, corruption will appear. You give up the body to him, he'll eat it, then puke out a melted key all over you. How lovely. Now you can go to the fortress and it will automatically open up for you. Once inside, you'll be in a big hallway. Go all the way to the right where you'll reach a door that leads to the torture chamber. In the torture chamber, you obviously don't want to get yourself killed, but you go all the way to the right again until you reach a desk with a key on it. You take the key and it will tell you that you have the key to cell 5. Cell 5 is a prison cell on the upper floor of this room that you will reach by going up these stairs back here. Go all the way to the left and open the last cell door. Here you will see another copy of you standing and smiling there when you open their cell. Don't worry about your copy leaving the cell or not, or why they're smiling creepily at you. Just exit the cell and go back to the hallway. Go all the way to the left this time where you will reach a door that takes you to a huge room with a few platforms and statues. In this room you'll see a statue of Sackboy and Girl.exe along with Unzipped. There is nothing you need to do in this room so you can take a few pictures or something and enjoy the view, then go into the door all the way to the right. You will appear on the roof of the fortress and now you'll want to walk all the way to the left. If you saw Sackboy two times, like I mentioned before, and freed your copy from the prison cell in the torture chamber, you should see Sackboy for a third time up here. When you approach him, he will automatically send you to a secret hallway where you see your copy smiling at you again. You chase your copycat down the hallway until they disappear and you see a red button. You press the button and get sent to a box where Sackboy.exe says, well done. The box opens up, you float down to the bottom and land on a cardboard scoreboard. Congratulations, you got the good ending. Now the bad ending happens if you don't see Sackboy three times or free your copycat and decide to enter the hallway yourself. It'll be lit red this time, flickering lights and all, where Sackboy unzipped will attack you if you walk all the way to the end of the hall or just stand there long enough for him to lose his patience. He'll put you into the failure room where you obviously failed and have no choice but to restart the level. Congratulations, you got the bad ending. Now for the secret ending, you're going to need to find and grab these three switches at the house. One is outside on a pillar, another is on the other side of the trap door, and the third is on another drawer in the bedroom. 
Once you grab all three, you'll see the cardboard staircase all the way to the left will actually double in steps, where you can now reach the upper area of the metal structure. Up here, a door to an underground junkyard will automatically open when you approach it. Go into the junkyard and you will reach a ditch where you see a cardboard panel with a sticker trigger on it. For this, you will need Deception Sticker, which you receive when you complete his Easter Egg in the Deception level. I did a video on how to get it, so if you haven't already, you might want to watch it so you know how to get it. When you place the sticker down, you'll hear it activate, but nothing will happen until you leave the junkyard. Deception will play a very quick game of peekaboo with you where you'll suddenly realize you have been dragged into the closed beta. Here there is a building to the right with a door that requires something to open it. To the left is a building similar to a hangar where a pile of grabbable cardboard boxes with barricade tape on them are scattered. If you dig around the back layer of the boxes, you'll find a red box hidden in the stack. The red box can be lifted using the right joystick making it a little more manageable for pulling it out of the pile. You'll need to push the red box into this slot by the building to the right which will then open the door. Once inside you'll be in an unsightly room where red thread-like arteries branch out across the walls. In here there will be two switches for you to pull which will send you back into the junkyard but you'll notice a rose in front of you. Pick and take the rose back to the house. Go upstairs and down the hall where you'll place the rose in a vase and the picture on the wall will reveal itself to be sackgirl.exe. You are then sent to an area where you see sackgirl.exe happy with her rose. Sackboy.exe lets you off with a fair trade and gives you a sticker of sackgirl.exe. It's not here because I already collected it, but then you teleport to the scoreboard. Congratulations, you got the secret ending, and those are all the endings to RPG.exe. This is the last Sackboy.exe level on my Earth. I have more plans for him and his story on YouTube involving artwork or animation, but I won't be creating anymore. There's a rare chance I may still come on LVP 2 or 3 to record with friends, but I consider myself done with Little Big Planet, and I've got a number of reasons for leaving, which I'll explain in another video. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you figure out how to pass RPG.exe. This is the unknown one saying bye bye now.